Alright, so we're going to do a, a little quick video on the uh, Unit 3 Lesson 5 CSS intro here from my website. So we'll skip some of this here and make sure you create the blog post and answer why is, what is style and why is it important. Okay, so CSS is uh, cascading style sheets and uh, that's how we do style uh, in HTML going to move forward here so the basic format for style here you see the selector h1 and then you have a property and value so selector property value okay so if you click this link here bring you to the w3 schools site where this is a little better displayed and uh, we're going to do it on separate lines like we have it here much better okay so, we're going to move forward here. Um, so, the selectors allow you to select and manipulate HTML elements, right? They're also used to find or select HTML elements based on their ID, class type, attribute, and more. Okay. Uh, so, here we have another example on that page. So, there's three ways of inserting style inline, internal, and external. So, we're going to start with inline here. And uh, once again, Click here. Okay. And uh, inline allows you to do it right with the document. So let me scroll down. Uh, try it yourself. So you can try it yourself here. So here's the heading color blue. So right inside the H1, we have a style equals, and then we have the property values. Property value separate with a semicolon. So we have color blue. I could change this blue to green and then apply, and you get green. I could change it to white. Disappears because the background's white. <laughs> I could also change it to gray. There you go. Uh, I can also change the font size 30 pixels, Let's make it real big 60 pixels. Okay. I'm sorry, this is the margin. Change the margin so it indents. Yes, yes. Make the in, change the, in, the indent here. There you go. Whoops. Okay. So, very good. Now, we're not going to do a whole lot with inline here. We're going to be focusing on internal style. Whoops. Was dead. There we go. Internal style um, means you're going to have a section style using the HTML tag style to start it and slash style to end it. And then you're going to have <coughs> your body h1, okay, here your selector, and then you have your property value property value property value and inside those it's, and they're gonna be inside of curly braces and the bracket on color linen you can change this to orange right red black whatever you want change the margin and so forth okay great so here's the big project <coughs> 